I certainly would like to do something with GPs just because the vast majority of people are being managed by their GP. And literally the appointments, the GPs are so short that they've barely got time to go through, you know, your your prescription. Um, so there's something that could help people there who never even get to see a dermatologist, um, who never even get asked about the impact. And, and I do wonder if digital supports the way to go just because of the sheer numbers of people involved um some kind of you know web you know website that people get sent to you know say after they've had their gp appointment where they can kind of find out about you know actually this is all the different ways that having a skin condition can impact you and your quality of life your emotional or mental health and firstly that's normal you know um unfortunately that is kind of quite common when you have a skin condition but in, but often people feel quite relieved when you tell them that because they'll say things like oh I thought there was something like wrong with me or you know I wasn't just trying hard enough or and it makes people feel worse about themselves so I think firstly just to put that information out there like these are the facts and figures actually but also here's ways you can help yourself I think we could definitely share more kind of self-help stuff but also I'm quite keen to link to all these fantastic charities where a lot of them have um, patient support groups, online groups like helplines, like buddy systems. I think there can be a lot more support within these charities. Like not everyone needs to see a professional, like a mental health professional or may not want to. Um, so I think it's good. I think we need to give more options but definitely kind of making it clearer to people, okay, you would like to see a professional, right? Here's how you go about it. You know, this is where you can go. This is who to ask and like give people like the knowledge that they can kind of skill themselves up so they can kind of advocate for themselves. Um, Cause at the moment people don't, like you said, like 54% don't, don't even know that any support's available. So how can you ask for support if you don't know it exists? There are some people who don't even live, leave the house um, they just become so isolated. So, so like, social isolation is really, really common, unfortunately, uh, people with skin conditions. Um, so they just kind of disappear from society, really. And but then that's how that's how it's so easy just to ignore those people because, you know, they're not around, then they're not making a noise, and you know we don't we don't realise. Um, we're not even asking. Um, so I definitely think kind of advocacy and raising awareness is all kind of important parts of the work.